Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve simple linear equations. I hope you know how do we, we represent a linear equation. It is an equation in the form say ax plus b equal c. So x will be the variable, a, b and c will be the constant. So the two linear terms when separated by this equal sign is called a linear equation provided the variable will be having the power only the highest one. Okay, so this side, one side of the equal side that is we call it left side and the other side we call it as right side. Okay, so before we learn the solving, we need to remember a few things. So you have the equal side and you have term on the left side and on the right side of equal. So remember that whenever there is a term with a positive sign and you move it to the right side, it will change to minus. Okay. Now, so any term which is positive, it will become negative when it moves to the right side. Like for instance, if you are having say here 5. So if you move it to the right side, it will become minus 1. Okay. So there will be definitely some variable over here. Okay, that you will learn with the example. Similarly, if on the left side you have something with negative sign, sign will change to positive as you move it to the right side. Similarly, if there is multiplication on the left side, when you move it on the right side, it will become divide. And if it is divide on the left side, when you move it on the right side, it will become multiply. Same thing, uh, where, same thing is applicable when you move from right to left. So what it means, if you move negative from right to left, it will change to positive. So in other words, positive get changed to negative and negative get changed to positive as we move from left to right or right to left. And multiply change to division and division change to multiply as we move from left to right. Okay, so now let's see how we are going to solve this simple linear equations. So first one, you have x plus 5 equal 15. So whenever we ask to solve, it means find the value of the variable. Okay, because 5 is a number, 15 is a number, the variable is x. So here, in this case, you have to find x. We may change variable. Any alphabet can be used in place of a variable. So, when we need to find x, so what you see, you see x only on the left side. On the right side, there is no x. But you additionally see a number on the left side. So, you don't need a number on the left side. So what you will be doing, you will be moving this number to the right side. Okay, so what it become now? It is x plus 5 equal 15. So you want x on the left side equal. You don't want 5 on the left side. So write it equal 15 already on the right side. When you move plus 5 to the right side, what it become? Minus plus change to minus and hence you have your answer 15 minus 5 is 10 so this is the value of x to understand it what you can think of is see x plus 5 is equal to something so you want the value of x it means you have to subtract 5 from the x the same so when you subtract or add on any side of an equation you have to do it on the both side. So when you do minus 5, so plus 5 minus 5 cancel and 15 minus 5 gives you. Okay. So if you understand in this way, it's fine. Otherwise, go ahead with this. Let's take another example. Y minus 10 equals 7. So here, you have to find the value of Y. Your variable is Y. 
So again, you don't need this number on this side. So you have to move it to the right side. Here you left with only y equal 7. This is minus 10, change to plus 10. As it moves to the other side. So 7 plus 10, 17. So y equals 70. This is the value. Let's take the third case. Here it's multiplication. Whenever we write 3x, it means multiplication. There is no sign mentioned. It means it's multiplication. Now you need to find the value of x only. So it means you don't need this number 3 here. So you have 3x equal 12. It is multiplied. So what I said earlier, for multiply, you should divide. So you divide with the same number that is multiplied with x. And when you divide, you divide on the both side. So 3 and 3, same number, you cancel from numerator and denominator. So you get x is equal to 12 divide 3. Now you have to check if you can further simplify it or not. So check, is it any way that you can write 12 as 3 times something? Yes, we can write 12 as 3 times 4. So you get 3 times 4 divide 3. Again, you have 3 in the numerator and denominator. You can cancel. So you left with x is equal to 4. Okay. Now, another example. In this, you have w divide 4 equals 6. So here your variable is w. So you have to find w. Okay, and it's divide. So what I said, whenever it is divide, you have to, when divide move to other side, it will become multiplication. So you can understand in this way like 4, when you move it to the other side, it become multiply. Or you multiply by 4 on both sides. So that this 4 get cancelled. So you get W as 6 times 4. That is 24. So this is how it works. Let's go to some more equations. Say you have 2U plus 5 equal 15. It's a combination of addition and multiplication. So in this case you want to find U. You have a number with it and you have plus 5 also. So you have product and addition. So when you do it, first get rid of this number. Move it to the other side. So this gives you 2u equal 15 minus 5. That is 10. 2u equal 10. Now it's a case of multiplication. So now divide by the same number that is 2 both sides. So you get u equal by cancelling this 2 with 2. Then divide 2 which gives you 5. Because 10 you can write as 2 times 5. So you get u equal. Okay. Let's take next example. Here you need to find r. Okay. You have subtraction. So again, first thing you will be doing is moving this minus 10 to the other side. So you left with only 3R on the left side equal to minus become plus 10. How much is 2 plus 10? 12. 3R. Now you need to find R. So you don't need this number 3. So divide both sides by 3. Cancelling 3 with 3. So 12 divide 3 is... Four. Yes, because 12 you can write as 3 times 4. Okay, so this gives you R as 4. Let's take another example. So, what you see in this? In this you see you have X on two sides and you have numbers also on both sides. So, in this kind of equations what you have to do? Collect all X terms on one side. And collect all numbers on the other side. Okay. You can do it on either side. Okay. So let's collect all x on left side. 
So 3x is already here. What we have here? Minus 2x. On the right side, we move it to the left side. So the same rule is applicable to this variable as we do for numbers. So it is minus 2x. So minus when it moves to the left, become plus 2x. Okay, so we done with 3x, we done with minus 2x. Now, equal. What we want on the right side? All numbers. So what number is here already? 12. Start with 12. Now, what we want? We want to move this plus 7 on the right side. So it is plus 7, it becomes minus 7. Okay, now you have to subtract. So 12 minus 7 is now, when it is with variable, how you work? You see the variable same? So, you write here x. And then apply the operation 3 plus 2. So, 3 is there with first x and then in between plus 2. So, 3 plus 2, 5x. Okay? Now, what do you want? We want to solve it. Solve means find x. So, what do you think the next step should be? Yeah, correct. You have to divide it by 5 because you don't need this number. So, cancelling 5 with 5 and here also it cancels and it gives you 1. So, this gives you the value of x as 1. Clear? Next question. Here you have to find y and you have y on two sides. Answer the number on both sides. So, let's work in the same way. Collect all y on the left side and all numbers on the other side. So, you have minus 4y already here. This is y. There is no sign. It means it is positive. Okay. When you move it on the left, it becomes minus y. Equal. Number 21 you already have here. You need to move this plus 10 on the right side. So when you move plus 10 to the right side, it becomes minus 10. Okay, so 21 minus 10 is 11. On the left side, you have the variable y, so you write y. Now let's see what will be the coefficient. So what you have in the first term, minus 4 and minus, there is no number with y. It means it's 1. And minus, minus, it becomes plus, plus. So, it means you add the number 4 and 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. And what is the sign of bigger number? Is minus. So, the coefficient will be minus 5. Now, still, it's not completed because you need the value of y. So, to get the value of y, what you have to do? You have to divide because minus pi is multiplied. So, we divide by minus 5. So, that this minus 5 get cancelled. And we left with y equal 11 over 5. And since there is only one minus sign, it doesn't matter if it is a numerator or denominator. You can write it here. Okay. So, this is how you work with this example. Let's take quickly one more example. When on both sides you have fractions. So, in this case, what you have to do is you always cross multiply. Okay. And make sure when you have two terms in numerator or denominator, put them in the bracket. So, what it becomes? 2x plus 3 cross multiply. So, 4 comes here. Multiply by 4. Equal. 3 already here. Multiply x minus 5. How do you multiply? This 4 get multiplied with the terms. So, you get 2x times 4 plus 3 times 4 equal. Same thing here. 3 gets multiplied with both the terms. It doesn't matter this number is on the left or right. Okay. 3 multiply x minus 3 multiply y. So, how you do multiplication? You multiply the numbers. 2 multiply 4 8x plus 3 multiply 4, 12. And here it is 3x minus 3 multiply 5, 
15. Now it becomes similar to the previous question. You have you can see x on both sides and numbers also on both sides. So you collect all x terms on one side and all numbers on the other side. So you already have 8x on the left side. This is plus 3x. When you move it on the left, it becomes minus 3x. Equal. You have here minus 15. When you move it on the right, this plus 12, it becomes minus 12. So minus 15 minus 12 becomes minus 27. And 8 minus 3 becomes 5x. Right? So now you need x. So you divide by 5. Cancel it. So x is equal to minus 27 over 5. You can simplify it to be decimal number. Okay. One last example. You can work it in a similar way. Like you have the fraction and you see here 2. So 2 means 2 divide 1. So you can work in the same way. Here the variable is u. So you have to find the value of u. So this become 1 times 3u minus 4 equal 2 times u plus 1. So 1 multiply anything is same. 2u, 3u minus 4. And this 2 get multiplied with both the terms. So 2u plus 2 times 1 is 2. Now collecting all u terms on one side and all numbers on the other side. What you get? 3u minus 2u equal 2 plus 4. Correct? Because 3u already positive, this 2u when it moves to the left, it become minus. And minus 4 when it moves to right, become plus. So 2 plus 4, 6. 3 minus 2 is 1u. That is u equal 6. So this is how you simplify the PL.